The Eagle Mountain is considering a change to its city code, which could open the door to a small nuclear reactor. City Council is expected to take up the issue tonight, but already some residents are voicing their concern. New Special Sandra Adams is live now with more on this story here. Andrew, what did you find out tonight? Well, residents are offering up a variety of concerns from potential impact on homeowners insurance to possible ground contamination, all the way up to possible terrorism. Leaders say they're just trying to come up with the best possible energy solution for a community that's rapidly growing. There is an energy crisis here. We have shortages in Eagle Mountain. The people here don't have to look far to see it. Eagle Mountain has kind of put the cart before the horse in a lot of different ways. The growth is widespread from houses being built here to data centers like the one Meta has placed here. And residents know the future here will require a lot of energy to fuel it all. There's not really a middle ground on this topic. That's why when they learned about a potential ordinance change that could open the door to a small modular nuclear reactor, there were concerns including that Eagle Mountain could become a target for terrorists. And that's not even counting what an accident from a nuclear power plant could cause. Megan Strader is now among those actively fighting the nuclear option as city leaders mull future possibilities. So we're looking into an all of the above energy strategy. A spokesman says a potential change in city code isn't just about a reactor. This allows a range of uses, natural gas being one of those, uh, battery storage, solar is another one. That said, officials say the option has been researched. Talking to uh, energy industry experts, talking to detractors and scientists who may disagree with those perspectives. They underscore they want to make the best decision for the city. We have a beautiful state and in the fall of a nuclear, a nuclear reactor, you know, overheating would it doesn't just travel within your surrounding city. It travels all over. Strader says she isn't opposed to a discussion about nuclear power in Utah, but she doesn't want to see a community make that choice because of a pressing need. But when you have desperation, you make rash decisions, and with rash decisions, you make mistakes. And that's what we don't want here. We don't want a big mistake. Again, it is just a dis uh, discussion about city code for now. Eagle Mountain officials expected to have a robust discussion tonight. Unclear if the council will act. That getting started at 7 o'clock over at City Hall. And now back to the studio. We'll continue and follow and see what happens here. All right, Andrew, thank you.